Okay, so this is the setup. On the left side, uh, you have a monitoring VM, uh, which basically makes API calls to Aliquot and changes the routes. Uh, on the right side, you have a VM that is trying to reach out to the internet and is behind the firewalls, uh, firewall one and firewall two. Basically, what we are trying to do is make firewall one active for outbound traffic. And if firewall one fails, you want to switch the route to firewall two. Uh, on my monitoring VM, um, I have basically installed uh, Allium, which is the CLI for Alibaba Cloud, and I have configured it correctly. Basically, all the access keys and secrets and everything is set already, so this is good to go. Uh, and we can start the script. This is the script here. Basically, all, all we are doing here really is, here we monitor firewall one. If everything is good, we don't do anything. Um, and if after two pings, firewall one doesn't reply, uh, what we do, we remove the route through the Allium command uh, from the route table of that VPC. And then we add the route to firewall two. And we stick to the situation. Uh, we keep monitoring firewall one. If firewall one comes back, basically we move everything back to firewall one. So firewall one is gonna be the permanent uh, or steady state firewall out of the setup. Okay, so this is my firewall one, uh, firewall A and firewall B. Uh, right now, if you look at the route table here in Adicloud, it is going through uh, firewall one. So let's get started. Here I'm gonna just start the bash script for monitoring. Everything is good, firewall one is active, and if I think from the actual VM to the outside, everything should be going out of firewall one. And we can see it here basically. This is my current time. All the traffic is going uh, from that VM on the right side to the internet through firewall one and firewall two shouldn't really have anything right now. Uh, this is past, basically, uh, from the previous test. All right, so what we do, everything looks good. What we do is we go ahead and simulate a VM crash or a reboot of the VM, let's say you're upgrading the VM or something like that, and see what the script does. All right, I'm gonna bring these guys up. Also keep the route tables here. Basically, we should see that this route table should change. All right. So we detected that firewall one is down. We remove the route to firewall one, add the route to firewall two. I have intentionally put 10 seconds of wait here because it seems like it is not really immediate. Both API calls went successfully. Uh, so here we can see that traffic has stopped. Okay, now it's back. So. I guess roughly around 30 seconds-ish is what it takes. Okay, let's check the route table for the VPC. So this would have changed to firewall two. Let's refresh it and verify. There we go. So now we are routing everything out of ENI of firewall two. So everything is gonna stay on firewall two until firewall one comes back. And at that point, we do the reverse. Basically, we move the route back to firewall one and that's gonna take um, a few minutes. So let's give it some time. And let's verify that everything is going through firewall two. Yeah, so 12, 11 Eastern time. My time is 11. Uh, 12, which is a central time. So this is current. And firewall one is booting. All right. So basically, this is going to be kind of like active passive for outbound traffic. Firewall one is going to be the steady state firewall for traffic getting out. And firewall two only kicks in when firewall one is out. Uh, this is only for outbound and east-west. Basically, this doesn't affect the inbound path. Inbound path is always distributed through the load balancers across both firewalls. Right. 
couple of more minutes. Let's see where this firewall is. Not available yet. Okay, it's almost time. The data plan interface is not ready yet, so uh, we are still failing the pings to trust interface of firewall one. As soon as that becomes available, we are going to switch the routes. There you go. Now firewall one is healthy. We remove the route from firewall two and add back the route to firewall one. And we should have a around 30 seconds of delay. Actually, it looks faster, maybe 20 seconds or so, but I didn't time it. And so everything is going through firewall one again, and firewall two is not carrying anything. Let's check the routes to make sure that we have actually changed it. So this was firewall two. Let me refresh this, and boom, we are back to firewall one. 